Let's talk about an odyssey. Let's do. Okay, you go first. Well, I'm going. Um, I'm just. I just. I just want everyone to know if if there's anyone <laughs> present who hasn't read it that it is. Um, this sort of fantastic, um, sort of very layered, I'll call it a memoir, it's a, it's a, work, of, it's a work of autobiographical non, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not like me where I just make all this stuff up. Uh, uh, it, it essentially centers on a semester in which Daniel is teaching the Odyssey at Bard, where he does in fact teach, and his father, who knows the classics and has taught in his own in his own day, sits in on the class. And um, you know, does does he obey Daniel's injunction to sit quietly and make no comments? I'll let, I'm going to let you guess. <laughs> so on one hand, there is the kind of the kind of the kind of journey of going through the class with the students and 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 Daniel's father, and the students feel very differently about it. It's, it's fantastic, and it's sort of a sort of odyssey. In a, in, a, in, a, in a seminar room at Bard, and then um, it's sort of interspersed with a cruise that Daniel and his father take after the class, which is, you know, see, uh, it's, it's an Odyssey cruise. I love it that this exists. In, the, they, they go in the footsteps of Odysseus, that was the name of the cruise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there is there is that as well. There is there 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 is this this kind of this kind of these kind of the layered odysseys, mm -hmm. both both involving journeys and fathers and sons and and recognizability across generations, and um, it's remarkable Thank and you. moving and beautiful. And one of my favorite lines, which is something that I'm gonna to have to paraphrase it, I'm afraid, but, but on the cruise, Daniel's father said repeatedly as he was seeing the, act, the actual <laughs> sites from the Odyssey, the, the S-I-T-E, um, he said, you know, the poem is more real. <laughs> <laughs> which felt like a fantastic thing to say about about poetry and 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 realness yeah. and with that Daniel Mendelssohn would you just tell us anything at all about that book and what it meant to write it well you know I have to I have to say uh, there were books I thought of when I was writing this book I mean I've written three I guess they're memoirs and in each one I sort of bounce a, a personal story off of a off of an ancient text to get a kind of traction or a mirroring, you know. Um, and in my first book, which was, uh, it's called The Elusive Embrace, which is partly about how, about being a gay person in the 90s and becoming a parent unexpectedly. And I'm sort of using different Greek and Roman texts to sort of think about identity and sexuality and whatever. And then in my second memoir, The Lost, which is about trying to find out a family Holocaust story, um, I used the Hebrew Bible, sort of interspersed this story of searching to find out what happened to my relatives during the war uh, with analyses of different texts. So for example, I had never really thought of the story of Noah's Ark as a, as a story about extermination and survival, but of course that's exactly what it is. But because I was in Eastern Europe looking for my murdered relatives, it suddenly hit me that this is a great text about what it means to be one of the few survivors of a great extermination. In this book, I wanted to sort of, you know, put my cards on the table from the beginning and just make it very clear that this is, you know, because of the situation which you described. It's a book about a course about the Odyssey, which also has this zany kind of father-son story um, about my octogenarian father. And, but one of the things that happened, and one of the things I try to describe in the book, because we're talking about making literature out of literature. So what does that mean? It means you want to sort of nod to the original, let's call it, 
but not just nod to it, this is what I was trying to get at before, but to sort of evoke the spirit of a work. So what is the Odyssey about? It's about a guy who's good with words, Odysseus, a famous storyteller, liar, bullshitter, <laughs> and he travels a lot, right? So I thought, you know, what is this book going to be made of? Well, it's going to be made of words and voyages. So I decided to intertwine these two events that happened to have happened during what turned out to be the last year of my dad's life when he decided he wanted to sit in on my Odyssey seminar. So it's all talk, 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 talk. And I'm sort of recreating key classroom discussions, but all of which have, as it were, uh, point are pointed uh, with respect to my relationship with my father, who was not the easiest of people. Um, and then we went on this cockamamie odyssey cruise after the course was <laughs> over, and I decided to sort of weave that, uh, weave that in. But one of the things that, you know, my father also said, so the stuff that Michael is alluding to is my father was a scientist. He was not a literature person. I mean, he was very well read, but you know, if you're a literature person, a writer, a reader, whatever, you always love Odysseus he's, because he's a great storyteller. He's the, the ur storyteller in the Western tradition. He gets out of difficult situations by making up fabulous stories. And my father hated him. <laughs> you know, he just hated this guy and he couldn't believe why anyone would think he was a hero because he lied. My father, it seems so self-evident to my father that a liar is not a hero. And that became a sort of running joke. But the thing that moved me so much, which is what Michael was referring to, is so we, we did the semester, January to May, and then in June we get on this boat and we, we go to Troy. Then my father, of all people, turns to me. We're standing in front of the walls of Troy, you know, the legendary walls of Troy. And he said, meh, the poem feels more real than the place. And I could have burst into tears. I was so gratified. <laughs> I, I thought that's what it means to be a literature person. I said, yeah. nowhere I have ever gone in my life feels as real as the description of it is in a book, you know. So a lot of the book, you know, a lot of the Odyssey, as I'm sure you know, is about transformations, magical, about the ability to recognize people after long periods of time. And so I wanted to sort of work those themes into the book, and because that happened to me with my father during the course of these two experiences, the course and the cruise, that I felt like both he had been transformed and I had been transformed, you know, and our relationship had been transformed because I saw things about him that I never really understood before, and it was all because of this, this you know, this poem. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. which is much more about fathers and sons than I ever really appreciated. Because like many people, you know, you think of the Odyssey, you think, oh, it's about this guy who's trying to get back to his wife after many years. But it's actually much more about him and his son and him and his father. Yeah.